Right, guys, welcome back. We've got some great news. This track got played out at Junction 2 this weekend. This, uh, there's a reason why I haven't been able to upload because I've had to kind of make things quickly. Um, Mari Waragal, Gal, Gull, Waragal, mate, she um, played it out in her set and it went off, you know? I had to make some quick adjustments to it to make it really flow a bit better and like give it a quick, dirty master. Um, but now after listening to it a few more times, there's a few things I need to clean up still. So she's got like an old version now that, you know, I'll send her over the updated file in a bit, which is good. Um, you know, I'll pop a video in by here. Awesome. So what I'm going to do now is now I have that video, I can use that to send to Enrico and then be like, look, mate, pay attention. Let's, uh, let's sort this out, you know? So I go through what I've done really on the mastering, but not, um, you know, I may not be able to cover everything that I've actually edited because you know, I, I won't be able to remember, but there'll be certain things I'll go through. Uh, I've made a few adjustments. So like uh, this section now has a, like you'll hear it now. Oop, you hear it now. So I've added this little thing onto this section, but I don't like how washed out and reverb this is. It just doesn't sound as snappy as it was without it. So we're just going to take it down to here. I think on here on the drop as well we're gonna want a bit more of this like bite on the bass just so that we get this like really attack you know so what we're gonna do is just just a little um oh. the problem with these linked things this should be like a shortcut i could press just to select the one but it doesn't seem like there is just drag that down and move that across Right, so we're just going to add a analog as usual, just to add a little bit of white noise and then make it really tight. And then we'll have a... Tighter than that, less release, less decay. On here, we're to clean this up and to let this breathe through. So we're going to take this, which is 36, group L. Uh, we're going to add Nova on here and cut out the highs from this, from what was it, 36, base group. And then just going to external sidechain, sidechain. Get rid of this one, put this onto a shelf threshold high ratio Th bring the threshold down really and then we'll hear it together good clearing it up and that that mean it won't hit this um, side chain as much this um, sorry hard clipper let's have a little listen to this Now with off it. Probably can't tell too much to be fair, but probably better we have it on just to just in case. Uh let's see. Just 
double checking things. Has this been through a saturator? I'm just wondering. No, so this has this signal hasn't actually been clipped. Okay, that's good. The issue is, is obviously there is a frequency, um, what's it called? You know what I mean? Confliction between these two. So you've got the bass is obviously in the low end here. And then over here, you've got that there. So we could probably scoop a little bit more of that out, to be fair. Um, let's see. Hang on a minute. This, uh, yeah. Probably add this on to the end of here as well. Chuck that after that. not really providing enough of a difference for me to feel too worried about it right so that was one thing i wanted to do the drop isn't good enough it's like there's just a there's not enough of a like break maybe between these two sounds so let's just take a look on uh, which hmm signalizer maybe let's see There's not enough impact on here. I also, I turned this down and I think I turned, I think I've just turned the kick down a little bit too much in this area. So we'll raise up a little bit. Let's start running out now. So let's see what is going on here with this.
there's just maybe too much there's just too much like tail on this Well, that sounds a bit better. Let's uh, add that one to here. And that can go. It's not really enough there. We're just trying to really squeeze out some... What's this doing? Just trying to get it out of the way just in case there's anything there. Just get rid of that. Right, and what is the bass doing? Nothing, it's not. So what I'm doing there, I'm I'm adding a loudness meter to this bus to try and like see the volume difference between um pretty much where the drop is. So this is the boo do and that's the dun dun dun. And there's not enough really of a I'd say a volume jump maybe between those two things. So what we can do there is we can either automate this down or we can automate the entire bus down to be a bit less uh, but we run the issue then of making the um, making the drop the breakdown too quiet so let's just listen to, listen to it I'm gonna add a little hit on this, so let's grab. Sorry, let's just grab this one. I'm gonna add a snare on to be a bit louder because it's a little bit hidden. Um, so we just add a little snare hit. It doesn't have to be loud. It just needs. We need a little bit of like of oomph. Maybe that. That could work. A little clap. So I'm just adding this one clap on the drop just to really allow it to like slam into your face, you know, so, so it's having a bit more cut through on that. We can automate this to get out of the way. Oh, no need. Right, so I think we can actually get away with a little bit more than that. So let's go minus 2.5. That's quite, quite quiet now, it's, you know.
do feel like there's some empty space that needs to be filled up, kind of. Let's just try and land on it. Maybe it just feels a little bit too empty in this area, so let's go again. So let's see, we're, we're peaking at minus five points. Uh, yeah, so we're still a bit too loud maybe, but what is, what is it? It's probably the... Sorry, one of the issues is as well, I'm running this through a mastering train and I'm making edits. It's not really the right way to do this. Um, uh, let's see, what time is it? 18, so 18 minutes in. Because I'll have to adjust the volume in the in post, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see. Um, right, cool. Let's just turn these off now then. It's like uh, it's just cuts too short, but at the same time, if it doesn't cut that short, it kind of doesn't give you the difference that you need within that the drop, you know. So this is the problem, though. It's like, oh. Excuse me, let's have a look here. Solo that, then we solo this as well. Let's go through to our loudest meter. So that is quite a bit too close to that. Why is that not coming up on here? 
What? Should we go in through the main? Weird. Challenging. Hmm. Right. But pretty much everything else in the song was fine. It's just the breakdown to this area, you know? I also wanted to remove a bit of the um, reverb on these. So we just by then take it down to Right, so let's get down to the business. So first with the mastering I put on this soft clipper pro um let's just put it to like this area so the idea of this one is just to catch clips just the the tips of things you can kind of push this you know and obviously it sounds awful but That's probably where you're going to get the most distortion here, so. But it does mean that maybe we should look at distorting this a little bit more to make it fit in a bit better. Which I haven't got. So we'll add a clipper to this, try and get this a bit louder. Uh, where are you here? I thought I did this already, mate. I haven't. Crazy. Right. So we'll just grab uh, this Pro Q3 as well. Copy and paste that into this. I think this one's already set up to be kind of what we're looking for. Grab that, grab that. So. So you're hearing little clips there. Can you hear that? Like. Maybe come from this. Yeah, it is just coming from this a bit, really. Uh, whatever, it's gonna, you won't be able to hear that in the track, you know, because the kick will be riding on top of that. So but if I put the just this uh, clipper on again, you can hear it, can't you? And the problem is that's getting reverbed. You can hear that. So, and we're not getting any headroom from that, really, you know, so. So you can hear that is adding a lot of distortion there. But if we go to the big drop. You can't, you can't hear the distortion there, but you definitely can hear it here. Well, we we could just put up with it. Let's see what what this is doing. Mm-hmm. 
Problem is, this is we're we're adding this after here, so there's a lot of stuff. But what we can do, we can. You can't hear it. And I know it's like, you know, oh, people, you really want to like have that super clean sound. But in reality, if you can't hear this distortion. It's being like absorbed by everything else, you know, so. I can hear it in there, but it's also getting like taken over by other things, and it's not the only distortion I'm hearing. So I'm just gonna add it in, right? So and you can see that minus six there and we add this on and what we're getting so we're saving we're saving like a db on this pro l you know so and it's earlier on in the source so it's going in here again going through another clipper is it i'm surprised that's not um this sorry linear phase whoops yeah that's better hang on so this one definitely should be linear phase so let's check with this all on again now um so we, we saved another db there that's great So this is our last clipper in this group. So we need to find the busiest part of the track, which involves this bus. Um, it's either going to be like, it's not that. Let's, um, yeah, in fact, it is literally this, just this, so we can just solo there. That's better. And then it'll take in another lump off that. You, you do want to hard clip everything at the individual level. A bus hard clipping is not as it's definitely not as clean. Um, there's a test you can do just to prove this yourself. There's another guy who did it. I think it was um, uh, I can't remember, but he's got the the mohawk the really thin line the metal head you know um, knowledgeable guy but if you hard clip a sine wave and then hard clip another sine wave and add them together that will sound way cleaner than if you put those two sine waves together then clip them the same with distortion because they kind of um, mingle with each other within the distortion but if you add if you sum them together it's it just works cleaner so um I'm not sure. I think it's to do with your Nyquist and it bouncing back um, off your sample rate, maybe. But there may be some other things going on there. So let's find the vocal. Where are you? Can't remember. Here is a vocal. This vocals are weird to clip, so we're going to be a bit conservative with this. Um, and then we'll take 
this ProQ3. Where is this turning off? Right, okay, that's on most of the thing. So we'll put this in the vocal group. Clear any lows we create. So... You know, and then go back up to here, and what are we getting now on our little viewer? So you can see the main body is kind of around that same area, but realistically, we've gained... Uh, maybe a few dBs of headroom from certain sample spikes from that, you know? With an almost unperceivable difference to the um, the sound, you know? It's distorted anyway, so... This is looking more healthy as a clipper, you know, rather than doing like stupid amounts of work. You know, so let's go back down now to the, yeah, uh, no, not this one, this attack thing, so we can really crush this, hopefully. There's a little difference I can hear. It's not as sharp. If I turn it up, fuck, it's a bit loud, don't. So getting rid of this has, like, taken away some of the transient. So we just dial that back a little bit. Yeah, it has, but because that element's not really going to be perceived on its own, it's going to be hidden within the track. I don't really mind that it's uh, like that. Let's try and do this to it. So what that is doing, that is making the transient totally disappear um, and really bringing out the reverb in it. Uh, so I'm just going to Leave that like that, but obviously we've got to add this uh, Pro-Q3 back on. The, they're all automa automated to release during the breakdown because it's not going to be as important with those... Uh, um, with the uh, no kick going on, but at the same time, tomorrow, they don't need to be there, so just allow them to breathe. What is this? This is distorted enough. Um but we will add that Pro-Q3 on just to check what it's doing. That'll give us a, you know, maybe a bit more. Yeah, so there's a bit of rumble down there, minus nine, so that would add it into something, but, you know, not too much, so... is really flattening that so there's no need for us to really even add that on oh apart from mm, let's just check it here
it's this moment now. Such a cool noise, that. So add that on. Probably get rid of three or four dB off this. Cool. That's good enough for me. Um, grab this Pro Key 3. You know, if you really want loud tracks, you've got to be a bit more aggressive with your clipping. You are, but it's always a trade-off. You know, by clipping everything, sometimes you can make tracks sound a bit stale, but, like, synths can really hide things well. So, um, delete that. Let's see what this needs. So if we go through this now and then we'll check out it all. I don't mind those like spikes coming through, you know? Cool, that's good. Let's just check the kick. You can hear there is a little bit of distortedness in that kick. It doesn't sound great, I think it's coming from here. hear that noise it kind of the two hits sound a bit different it's um it's a weird like error you get with ableton where sometimes the first hit even though it should be completely finished by here it's just a weird weird thing it's to i think it's to do with maybe some of these aren't releasing fast enough so let's have a look Yeah, it's a bit gutting, but whatever, it's there now. Oh, you can really hear that, you can really hear that, can't you? But can you hear it with the bass? No. You can. Gutted. Right, I'll have to sort that. That may take some fucking about with, to be honest. Maybe it is it, is that it? (laughs) 
I got an idea. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to record a few of these samples out into this. So we'll go into kick group, just record. doesn't really matter where. So we grab this, control G. Let's have a look at this now. I think this may be in the sample that's been brought out with our, you know, mix in on it. So let's just find out where it is. You can see it there, you can see the distortions here. See? I've never done this before. If this works, I'm a genius. <laughs> right, so. So we need a third layer, just a, sorry, just a test this across here. Uh, let's just grab this across here and then duplicate that, delete this, and then grab that and the last one, control L. Cool, this does work, but let's put a um, Pro Q3 on the linear phase I, because really I don't want to mess with the phase. So, and it's not going to really matter the pre ringing on here. Um, so, let's, that's got to be like that. That also has to be like that. And that should work without. Or what we can do is grab them at the zero crossing point, which will be in between there and there. Grab that there and then swing to that, which is the zero crossing point there. So that means that this shouldn't be a speaker noise because You can see all that, all that um, distortion down there. Audible, isn't it? You know, so but if you look at here, I'll put on a uh, oscilloscope, oculoscope. Um, you can see. This will be changing the phase. Uh, what is it? Not really, actually. I can definitely hear something there. What the fuck's going on there? Oh, I'm on linear phase, that's why. Right. So you can see that see that little squiggly fucking line there, right? Can you see that? That's what pre-ringing is. And we can just get rid of that by getting rid of that. Okay, you can see there's a little pre-ring there. That'll 
I'll do, I think, with minimal pre-ringing. All we can do is freeze and flatten this. We'll add that back into the, the, the original kick. And then we'll have something that should... Right, where does ours line up on the crossing point here? There's, that one doesn't anymore, right? But we can just do that. Smooth it out a little bit. It's a bit wonky. Obviously, it's not perfect. But, you know, do that. kind of smooths it out a bit. <laughs> Grab this. Sorry. What is going on? Right, check that where it should be. Why is that not lining up? Right. There we go. Stitch these together. It's a little bump. The more we do this, probably the better. There we go. Now we probably have a cleaner sample. Versus, you can hear it. Wow, fuck, I've never done this before. And look, those look exactly the same, pretty much, you know? Um, it's got a wobble, a bit more of a wobble there, maybe, but Wow, except this one's cleaner. So what we can do now, go in our kick group and then um, we need to control J this, loop this now and just make the same kick pattern with this. You know what, it would actually be easier if I just grab this, grab that, control J this, copy paste that, create a new MIDI track, uh, call this uh, new kick. Like that. We don't get rid of the old kick, uh, but what we do now is grab that sample, show in Explorer. No, sorry, show in browser, go to new kick, chuck that in there, rename. New kick, kick off snap, and then chuck this in here and we'll have the full kick. Versus, ours is quieter, probably needs to be on zero, does it? Don't know why ours is quieter. Because it shouldn't be, because it should be the loudness that this is coming out of. Um, hmm. Well, that's louder. It's weird. If you notice this is the this sounds like the original hit so you can you can hear there's two different hits here you get like a pop 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 and if you check down here as well you can see the original hit doesn't have that spike there's, there's some weird summing going on so we've got our new kick anyway What we'll do, we just gotta increase the volume of it, really. Come 
cool. I think that's minus nine is where it is, so. Whoops, we'll get this now and we'll grab whatever this is here. Uh, anything else we need? Shouldn't need anything else because it should already be clipped to that standard. Um, and then we add it to this and then here we go. We've got our new kick layer. And we can just turn this off here. Uh, where is this turned off though? In the breakdown. That's fine. I don't think we need that actually. Yeah, we do. We do. Show motion. Copy and, copy and paste that in information into this layer. Show automation. Bam. And then we'll color code these to something else just to draw attention to these being a different kick group of this. Cool. Let's uh, hide that now. And then we've got our new kick group. Cool, let's uh, go back to here. Let's try and save a little bit more headroom again, maybe off the high end of this stab here. So in reality, we've got this happening at the same time. So there can probably be a bit more some really stuff there. Yeah, we don't need that. So we can just do that. Saved any more on that. Oh, well, yeah, that comes from another... It comes from another area, so we're going here again. It's very aggressive there, isn't it? It doesn't look like it's on, does it? It's weird. I don't like that. That sounds off. Let's add a little bit of crunch to this. We don't really need it. It's in the background, so. Bit, a bit more low end in there now, so probably cut some of the high ends out of here.
It is very aggressive here, so I'm just going to clip all of them together. Fucking hell. Add another one of these before that, just to clear out any low end that may or may, or may not make a difference. Right, um, see I've already added that on. Um, I've kind of liked the way the percussion sounding, so I don't want to do too much to it. So um, let's just check things if we need any awkward frequencies you've got to pull out. Sounds, this sounds alright. Sounds okay. Like a lot of the time, if you can't hear it, there's no point. Like, so that's what I was hearing. Hear that? No, but really, that probably you. It's not that obvious, do you know what I mean? If it's not that obvious, taking it out is not going to achieve much, you know? It's fine. Um, let's see here. Perfect. Let's, in fact, we'll add that before here so that Yeah, I pretty think that's kind of where the track's going to be landing now. Um, yeah, and then pretty much I've added just a Gulf Oss on here, taking away the highs and the lows from the equation, and then just like put it on fairly aggressively, just as qu a quick check, you know. Um, I'm not. I'm going to master this. I, well, I have mastered it myself, but the idea is is that if Enrico likes it or whatever, then I'll probably get it properly mastered and, you know... Um, but we'll see. That cost a bit more money and stuff. So uh, it depends on what he says. If, I, if it's just going to be a free download, it'll do. You know what I mean? Um, so... That's a little bit too aggressive, I think, that. <laughs> oh, nearly turned that on. Right. So, I think that'll be the end of that for the whole series on this one maybe um in reality like the mastering is just a simple uh just a bit of an eq following a curve pattern um that's only plus 2 db there you know i just f fucking about on this versus oh shit versus another track that i had oh wow please no right okay well i'll have to i'll have to remaster it gutted oh no um right well that'll end it there i'll have to remaster this um fucking come on let me undo all that never mind right hope you've enjoyed and yeah 
just goes to show though guys if you like you know w- once you get to my level no once you once you start getting like proficient at doing this you know i made this track with you guys in like 10 sessions you know and there was a bit of a slog section and look it got played out at like one of the biggest fest- techno festivals at least, uh, definitely one of the biggest techno festivals in the uk one of the best you know junction two um amazing so don't let your dreams be dreams catch you next time and uh hope you enjoyed we'll be moving on to our next project soon um a track for you know commercial a, a release like a proper release so yeah hope you've enjoyed and uh, catch you again <laughs>